Hello everyone, in this video I will show you Google sign in with Firebase in React.js Let's start here, I already created a React project and I am running this project ok and I am going to browser here type firebase.google.com ok and click enter it will navigate to this page click get start before that you need to create your account ok after that click this add project and you can give your project name maybe anything ok here I give a uh, multi shop that's shop ok and yeah click continue and yeah again click continue you can select default account from firebase for firebase sorry and click create project it will take some time few moment ok Yeah, click continue now our firebase project is created click this this icon web ok click that and yeah you can give your web app name nickname ok here I give youtube yeah I just give youtube and register app before that copy this ok you need to install the firebase npm package ok here paste that and click enter ok here in my case I already installed ok after that I am going here down copy this this entire code ok enter this is the access key and something API key it's like that ok we are going to communicate with the firebase using this key in, from react app ok click continue to console yeah it's fine and also go here I already created a config.js file paste that here ok after that click the build and go to authentication I mean click that authentication it will navigate to this page here get started click that ok and we are going to authenticate to google ok google sign in ok so that I am going to click that google and here this click enable this option and select here project support email ok here this is my email id so I select that and click save ok it will save yeah google sign in is enabled ok go to users ok here you can see login the user email ids ok and go to our vs code here i am going to remove some unwanted code i don't want to analytics and go here and remove that ok yeah this is fine after that i am going to import uh, i mean get auth from firebase slash auth ok and here get auth ok and also I am going to google auth provider ok this is fine and copy this get auth I don't want this analytics and after this const auth paste the get auth and uh, I'm going to pass this app ok in the get auth after that I'm going to create a const for provider provider is used to sign in copy that provider here type new and provider yeah this is fine and after that I'm going to export this auth and provider ok I am exporting this and save this file and go to sign in ok here I am going to import that exported file auth and provider from dot slash config ok 
file name is config okay i am going to use this exported files after that i am going to import sign in with pop up okay from firebase firebase slash auth okay yeah here sign in with pop up okay when you click the sign in button it will open on pop up and you can able to select your email id okay here i'm going to copy this go here yeah before that i need to create one button okay this is sign in with i mean google okay here on click mm, yeah handle handle click copy that go here create one function const its name is handle click yeah i'm going to copy this sign in with pop up i'm going to pass the auth slash provider dot then here i'm just create one data to get the sign in details okay and here i'm going to create one state okay const its name is yeah i just give value set value new state it's imported here initially it's empty okay here i'm going to copy this set value and pass the sorry pass the data dot user dot email yeah after that i'm going to create a local storage and i'm going to set the user email id because if user is already signed in means we are navigate to the home page right so set item email el and i'm going to set the data dot user dot email yeah i'm just set this value okay here i'm going to create one use effect yeah it's imported here okay here i'm going to set every time this page is open means i'm going to set value set the value of local storage set i'm going to set the local storage email id value okay dot get item here email yeah copy that and after this i'm going to paste that value and here if any data in the value means i'm going to navigate to home page home page means this is our home page okay i'm going to copy this home and go here yeah i paste that and i'm going to import that yeah it's imported here and i close that page okay else i'm going to display the button okay okay go to browser here i refresh this page yeah we had we have a sign in with google button google spelling is wrong g o o g l e sorry for this spelling mistake sorry i didn't notice it google okay click sign in with google button it will open a pop up and it will show a uh, log already used the email id is i'm going to continue with this email id okay i'm going to click it yeah it is signed in and also we are navigate to home page and also go to firebase and here initially i am not getting any email id so i am refreshing this page yeah here i got a logged in email id okay okay and yeah here i am going to display one logout button okay go here after that i'm going to create one button its name is logout create on click 
Okay, we are going to create one, I mean, logout. Logout function. After this, const paste that value, I mean, the function name. And here I'm just reset this local storage, okay? Local storage dot clear. Yeah, I refresh this page. Local storage is clicked, okay? However, I mean, I'm going to inspect, go to application. Here our local storage is reset, but if I click refresh means it's back to this page. But we need to reload our window dot location dot reload okay save this file okay go to browser here i refresh this page i'm going, I'm going to inspect and go to application yeah, here we don't have any email id in our local storage click sign in with google yeah it's signing signing in yeah you get a local storage value email id it's navigate to home page okay now i'm going to click a logout our page is getting reloaded and back to sign in page okay and our local storage is also signed out okay i mean cleared okay yeah this is what i try to tell in this video bye bye